Yeah, today I woke up to the wife saying, uh, any chance of a good rub down? <laughs> and uh, unfortunately, she met the walls. So when we first uh, sort of took the keys to the boat, it was a case of quickly slap some paint on so it was a little bit more comfortable for us at the time. And the view uh, of sort of giving it a proper rub down and all the rest of it at a sort of later date. But that later date has appeared now. So basically speaking, we're just having a little bit of a rub down. Uh, shows a colour that we like, uh, which you'll see obviously later on. Uh, bit of a miserable day today. Rain all day is forecast and they've certainly sort of started off that way. Uh, so we're having a sort of uh, in the in the boat sort of day. Got the fire going. Um, yeah, it's just sort of working on things inside really so I'm not in and out of the van cutting up wood today or anything like that really so uh, the wife's sort of stuck with me now you know, for the day really you see my wrinkles what? yeah you can see them from about five you know boats I... along though Sorry? oh thanks a lot yeah cheers <laughs> what am I going to do about my wrinkles anyway I've got, any... I've got some filler on the bed uh, <laughs> right yeah so I've got like a P40 grip quite rough to start with give it some of that and then we've got like a we go to a P80 for the next rub down, and then we finish off with like a P180. Self-explanatory, really. The lower the number, the rougher the paper. So that's it. And then we get it all ready. And why are you choosing to do it by hand rather than machine it? Uh, what I found in the past when you're using discs, I've got like a disc sander. When you use discs quite often, they just literally fill up with paint quite quickly, and then really. You've got like blobs of paint that you're then just scratching the surface with, whereas this you can keep an eye on it and just sort of just change these really quite lively without wasting the disc basically. It's quite therapeutic anyway. Oh look, we've got a dolphin here, look. Oh, spider. Oh, spider. Shut up, idiots. How ah, can you live on a boat with a scared spider? I had to throw one away this morning. Throw one well, away. Well, throw it away, I mean, yeah. recycled it, obviously. No, I gently lowered it. You didn't, did you? But you lobbed it. Okay, I threw it about <laughs> six foot or something. But anyway. But this was, in fact, a lie. Because it actually dropped it. I found this out when I grabbed a bag to get something out of the bag, and said spider was on the thing that I grabbed out of the bag. The same spider. She thinks it was massive. It was Honestly. massive. Honestly. His body was like that. Was like... He had a big bum. Oh, Paul! Come and get <laughs> this! So I said, you wait till the summer really kicks in and all the rest of it. I said, you're going to... And then she went, oh, I ain't going to be able to live on here. She went, oh, oh. She went oh, I'll have to sell up if I can't get used to this part. So anyway, for sale, 68 foot now about... Looks like Kermit the Frog. The way he looked at me. He definitely had an invite on him. He looked so at you me must have done. like, what are you doing in my boat? It's like, what? That's my thing. It's the cheek of them. They're just like, what are you doing here? And I used my boat. Oh, all right, yeah. yeah. It's, just, it's just rudeness, isn't it? Rude? Yeah. <laughs> well, I think what sport it was the suitcase, isn't that? He bought with him. Right. Okay. Right, that's that done. So the bedroom um, now had curtains, so I've moved the curtains that were in the lounge into here. Um, and I've still haven't finished the wooden trim on that, but anyway. <laughs> and I've changed bedding and bought the, like the orangey tones in here with a bit of green. More blended now, I think. Sneak peek into the colour. So the bottom colour is, it is um, a paint that we had indoors actually, that we did the dining room with, as you can see, I've labelled it Teal 02 by Lick. That's the colour we've gone for above. You know what I'm going to say. I don't like it. I want to do it all. I know it's going to make it feel small, but so what? Not small, cosy. Paul's it. You or you can take a guess where Paul is at.
just pulling into my favourite shop Midland Chandler love it it's like a sweet shop when you're a kid I suppose iconic bridges there there's two of them at Broadston Paul's at Midland Chandler. I'm not sure I'm brave enough to make that executive decision on my own, although usually I'm, I'm the one that does all the painting and designing, but so I need to ask him, I think. So I'm gonna wait for him to come home. I don't know, only sort of losing the will to live, I think, aren't you, Ernst? It's quite interesting when you work in, oh, sorry, when you're moored up in a working marina. Some lucky owner's gonna receive this uh, delivery at some address today. Fascinating how it all works. It's all been a big education, this. Still at Wilton Marina. Still got a couple of months here, actually. We've got the solar panels going to all go on. Various bits and pieces. We just want to make sure they're all up and running properly before we go. Travelling around. No, that's a wide beam going on there actually. Fascinating. Very clever. We decided it might be a good idea, considering the state of our breakfast bar type dining area that we've opted to have dinner on our laps tonight. <laughs> what do you reckon, sausage? Yeah, definitely. Good call? Yeah, good call. <laughs> yeah. We've also gone. Ah, yes. Mm. Yeah, the layering is not happening. Yeah, sorry, yeah. We've, I, well, I, we've I, gone I forgot to say. All the colour, look, there you go. Yeah, so we, just yeah, yeah. No layering going on no there. No layering. No, didn't like the layering. We decided layering's for hair. <laughs> As it's a lovely dry day, makes a change from yesterday, which was diabolical. Back on the uh, duck catches. The main reason for the leak is this section here. I don't know if you can, can't probably work it out, but it's actually falling inwards. So this it's tilting rather than tilting outwards. So any water that does gather in this area, eventually, somewhere, I'm not sure where, is finding its way in, and then underneath, and then you kind of get a drip along along the gunnel there. We've had the tin foil solution on it, from uh, you may well have seen on previous episodes. I've had a couple of sort of temporary attempts there. So, what about us all? grinding this out and replacing this section which i'm trying to avoid just for the minute anyway um i've bought some p38 body filler um i'm going to give this a good scrape out and then i'm going to sort of backfill it all the way along uh, and shape the filler so that any water landing on top of the filler will run away like I say, this may well be just some sort of temporary measure, but gets us out of trouble for now, I think. You're trying to get on there, Liz, are you? And, uh, someone's, yeah, yeah, what, someone's, you someone's getting in the way, are they? Helping, Why don't you just sort of sellotape some sandpaper to his paw? Yeah. And he can crack on with her. He is. Is it coming so up all right, eh? now, no, no, coming up all right, is it? Yeah. That's it. We're, get, we're going to put some uh, <coughs> fur tan on now. Nice one. You'll be better to do it your side. Yeah, I will do it. Yeah. yeah, I will do. Let's restore this mother. <coughs> Are you videoing that? Yep. I'm not sure you can say mother. I've said it. <laughs> 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 yeah. Nice feeling this is. Lovely. Lovely, Jolly. <coughs> Apparently, it's supposed to restore the. Uh, the rust back into metal or something like that, so I expect that to be shiny and silver a bit later. <laughs> so, Ryan's? Yep, carry on, Dad.
Oh. Oh no. Oh, look what I've done. Hang on a minute. Oh my god. Oh, it's nearly off. Oh my god, look at that. A bit worried we ain't going to get these back on again. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, he nearly ended up in the canal. <laughs> <laughs> that was lucky. Come on. Come on, that was very tight, that getting that on and off. Is it because of the paint yeah. that's on it though? No, rather than not the... really. No, no. It shows how the hinge works. So you've got like a pin there. And then underneath mm. is. It's just like a cup sort of thing. Yeah. Pencil line there. So we're going to grind that. From that pencil line down to nothing on that corner to square it up. I've cut this back now at the top there, so I've squared it up. Just going to drill a hole through the top and refix this section. Um, this flap was welded on there, but obviously welded in the wrong place, really. Um, so, a couple of screws through here into the timber. That should hold that back down in position where I want it. Um, and then I've got to do a similar thing on the bottom bottom corner of that. What did one do in there? What? <laughs> what are you oh, doing? We had a lovely day weather wise, haven't we? It's I good. don't know, I've been inside oh, painting. Oh yeah. Oh you can't see the Anyway. Nice. Painting. So there we go. What are you doing? I've reshaped the seal with the Such body body sausage. filler. So now the water runs away instead of running in. Wow. And I'm now applying some red oxide. We put some fur tan on underneath the filler. Why is it called red oxide? I mean, it ain't really red, is it? It's orange. Nice. Don't get it on my white paint. Don't worry, that's all going to have new trim. There'll be new trim going around there. Might as well just give this a paint. No, it's not been. Oh, it's not been treated. It's not been furballed, I'm going to call it. Furballed. I've had a little bit of rain this morning. It's quite heavy, actually, for a period of time. So uh, let's just see how everything's held up, really. Right. Right. Let's open the doors up. So although we have got some rain in there, uh, obviously it's not going to go past that rebate and what rain is in there is sitting on top of like the filler, which is covered in. Do you mind doing a video? Uh, so obviously this is sitting on top of the sitting on top of the body filler, which is covered in red oxide. So. Clearly, it's not going to actually come through into the building, into into the building, into the boat. So, obviously, that's a lot better. I did this oak trim last night. Actually, before I finish, it's just got a drip section there, which is a hell of a lot closer to the doors when they shut than what we did have. Because the problem was also was rain getting in through the top. So I've got this small gap there now above the doors with a drip there as well. Instead of this sort of more or less 25 mil gap that we did have, where the rain could sort of come in at an angle anyway and get on top of the doors, and that was creating a problem. So hopefully, although there's a little bit of rain in the bottom there, it's not going to come in. So I'm relatively pleased with that, to be fair. No. Have you ever seen two canal boats kissing? You have now. <laughs> I've got the tape measure. That's a start. Yeah, I know, isn't it? This is a bit of one of them. It's another fire mess you got me into, Stanley. <laughs> like, what are we going to do here? So, at the moment, obviously, we've got a shower, uh, sink unit, wasted space because that used to be a washing machine yeah. there, didn't it? Yeah. And the toilet and the window and a thing. Yeah. But to confuse matters more. Yes. Because we went for a nice open plan feel in the bedroom, i.e. we didn't want a wardrobe in the bedroom. Yeah. 
the planning was that we we would also squeeze a wardrobe area into the bathroom. So just to complicate things. Um, so, so this would probably be a wardrobe here. Yeah, windows there. So technically speaking, we're thinking: do we take the toilet from here? Over there. And then put the toilet here, and then we can access the cassette. If you look underneath here, mm -hmm. so yes, where the coal bucket we've got coal yeah, and we've wood got coal under there. On that there. Yeah. <laughs> so we could access the cassette through the back of that wall there. At the moment, we access it through the cupboard there. So that would be the best approach, probably, would be to put the toilet there. The sink would sort of stay there, more or less. Um, and as far as like the shower goes, we have been looking at. Is it an 800 quadrant, is it? The ones that got a curved corner, basically. So 800 or 80 by 80. Can I have a look at the, where it comes? Well, there's your tape measure, so if you want to have a little... So would you have it that, there. would you leave more, a lot of people have it like with the towels there, oh, yeah, yeah. Maybe, I don't really I want know what you mean. So it'd be like a shelf. No, it I be. It'd be an me. enclosed, proper built shelf of panel. Sort you of still thing. get them going in, trust me. They go in my no, They can go in you. absolutely anywhere, can't they? Forget spiders, let's do a design. Um, where's 800 then? Okay, there. You have a little, a little flat section about to there, and then it curls round. Yeah. Oh, so we just lose this corner bit? Yeah, basically, it's the same, yeah, same as that, with that corner off, basically. <coughs> and then it comes into that sort of space there as See, well. this was a lot smaller than I thought, because I, yeah, when I was I at home, I was saying to you, of building yeah. a unit yeah. here. No, not, it's not really practical, So it's it? not, because of the, the wall you're better through, off, so you... You're better off shuffling the shower from where it is now, over six seven inches or something maybe and making that bit. maybe uh, and making that a proper area there the so trouble is we've got no we even have a door there, we've it? got no hanging space like for towels and things have we, we i mean at the minute we've the got no we've storage got there, for coats at the moment yeah it's a bit tricky isn't it <sighs> yes possibly the trickiest room to do really yeah in the sense of squeezing what everything in you know what matter what are you thinking mm. hang on only wants to well, Have a little look yeah, around. Yeah. What do you what what do you reckon should yeah. happen? There's he don't he likes the golfer, don't you? Go, 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 go. What do you think? There's a shower. Mm. What do you think? Hey? Okay. What do you think? But I wouldn't milk sometimes, would it? Are you choosing one, are you Ernst? What one are you choosing? You're doing really well. <laughs> Took her to bark in the park. <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> doing really well, Ernie. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Ah, Put a bit of squeezy, <laughs> squeezy cheese in their mouth yeah. as well. That's a good one, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, what a great idea that is. Ernie. 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 Oh, look at that. He's loving that. <laughs> I've never known that trick before. I feel like misbehaving myself. Do you want some? Oh, well, you know. Might be the best offer I have all day, to be honest. <laughs> Good boy, Ernie. Well done, Ernie. Um, he had a great time. Um, the local council took a photograph of various dogs and they ended up on their website. Oh, Facebook page. Yeah, yeah. Facebook okay, page. Okay, Facebook page. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I was well pleased with that, actually. <laughs> right, back uh, to the boat, though. Here's what the inside of it looks like, all painted with the walls. We'll accessorise and everything next time we're down. Yeah. So we'll see you next week, guys. Uh, yeah, bye, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. 
Uh, much appreciated for all your support so far. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye.